you know, how bad do you want it? And uh, in football, uh, really, I've heard that expression a lot from coaches saying, you know, well, how bad do you really want it? And uh, I had that experience uh, in uh, a little bit, two years uh, spent in uh, helping out a high school team up in the Cleveland area, the uh, Bay Village Rockets. Uh, myself, along with uh, Robert Jackson, who's a teammate of mine, the Cardiac Kids, uh, were helping out the uh, staff there helping to coach the kids. It was really a great experience. I really loved it. I just I just didn't have the time to continue it and be an attorney at the same time. Uh, but it was uh, important because I realized, you know, you could see the difference in certain kids with desire. And desire, although I say it's something that football helps instill, it's not something that necessarily can be taught. Uh, I mean, I think it is you really have it or you don't have it. Uh, but certainly uh, coaches, parents, uh, significant uh, role models in a, in, a, in a person's life can help instill desire. And because uh, we always used to have, uh, and it was always a coach's uh, lament, as I now understand, you know, to have that you know big kid in high school that's you know maybe six two and he's you know 220 pounds and and he runs a, a, a four eight forty. Uh, and he looks like the guy's going to be your star middle linebacker or star fullback, but you know he really doesn't get it. He doesn't have any desire. You know he doesn't want to stick his nose in there. Uh, doesn't want to hit people. Uh, you know runs away from contact. And then you get the you know the kid that's uh, maybe 5'10", 190 pounds, 185 pounds, but he's flying all over the place. He wants to be involved in the middle of the play. He's sticking his head in there. You know that's the kid with desire. That's the kid that ends up playing because. Uh, you know, you want people out there that are motivated, that are excited about playing, uh, that are going to do the job for you.